Tonight's case takes us to the Lake District, one of the most beautiful and remote parts of the British Isles, and thankfully still largely unspoiled. For the central character in tonight's story, it was the perfect location for what he had in mind. See you again, lads. Now, you found the head, so they know you're coming. Oh, yes, uh, the Grasmere Hostel. I will be there for one night. Well, you picked a beautiful day for it. <laughs> you get some great views of washed water up there. Yes, it is all so beautiful. Well, I must be going. Au revoir. Au revoir. Take it easy. Of course. M-A-R-R-E. I'm getting a bit worried. She was due here hours ago. somewhere else. No, let's face it, the lads have done their best. Turned up nothing. Alright, fellas, go on the day. Police search attracted amateur divers to the sea. There was something in the paper about this place the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, some French girl went missing a while back. Got the police divers out here looking for her. What have they got? 220 bar. Should be good for 15 minutes. Okay. 35 metres max. Some fellas from the Solway Sub Aqua Club have found some sort of package in wasp water. That's the area Veronique Ma went missing. Exactly. Oh, hell. You know, I was hoping she'd just run off, that she was living rough in London or something. Come on, then. Let's take a look. Better contact the underwater lads. All right, sir.
Amazed those lads found it. How's that then? I was stuck on a rock ledge. Just a couple of yards further out, it would have sunk straight to the bottom. Never been found there. I need the Royal Navy to search that far down. Well, I was due for some luck. Go on. Oh, no. What? That is not Veronique Ma. What? Look at the hair, John. Veronique's was shoulder length. Unless she had an urge to have her hair cut off before she died, that isn't her. Christ. Who's that, then? I don't know. But we've got one missing woman and one dead woman. And they don't match. Sergeant, get Chief Inspector Reed on the phone, will you? I think this is going to make his day. All right, all right. Let's see what we've got so far. Right, now then, from height, weight, hair, age, it's obvious this is not Veronique Ma. What we have got is a first name, Maureen. Now, this gold band wedding ring found with the body. From the inscription inside the ring, it is safe to assume that uh, Maureen married a Michael on the 15th of November, 1963. Well, it's a nice little job for you there, Dave. I want you to trawl records uh, at the registrar's office, right? <laughs> Thanks. Now, the book found with the body might be something. Flyer's World. It suggests a connection with aviation. I don't know, maybe the killer was a pilot, or maybe the body was dropped from a light aircraft. I'll check that out, sir. I, I know a bloke down the local aerodrome. Good. Now, cause of death, John. Well, it <sighs> looks like she was strangled. She's got a cut above the left eye, consistent with her being punched. We think the assailant probably wore a ring. The body was remarkably well preserved. The water was freezing and there were no fish in the lake to pick at it. So it appears that it was probably there for quite some time. No look. Nothing at all. Any other ideas? Well, if they're not there, they weren't married in Cumbria. Sorry. With Cumbria ruled out, and faced with searching marriage records for the whole country, Reed decided to go public. In a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you, John. What we want is uh, anyone who knows of a Maureen or a Michael who got married on the 15th of November, 1963, to contact us. Now, ah, questions? Yeah. How long's the body been in the water? Well, that's... Uh, it's very difficult to tell, but fortunately there's been very little decomposition due to the temperature of the lake. But we are thinking in terms of several years. No, I'm sorry, but it couldn't have happened that way. You sure? Positive. The thermals over washed water mean you have to fly at such a height. But if you were to throw a body out, it would disintegrate as soon as it hit the water. Disappointing. But as one door was shut, A woman saw the piece in the paper about the ring. Now, she reckons she had a friend, Maureen Gilbert, who left her husband, Michael, in 1976. 76? Christ, that would mean she's been in the water, what, seven years? Yeah. Well, where's this woman from?